guys, it's Andrew. Um, today I'm going to do a simple makeup look using the items that I got and posted in my haul video earlier. And the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to prime my lids with this New York Color Custom Eyes Compact. Now, it, it came with this flesh tone primer, and that's what I'm going to be using. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to take the yellow in my NYC Upper Zest Side Palette, and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I will be using... Let's see... Sorry, I misplaced some of my things. I will be using... A brush like this, just a big fluffy light brush um, to just place this color all over the lid. Okay, now that I have this color all over the lids, now what I did is I put it all over the lids and I got it in the crease and I just blended it out with this brush above the crease in this area here out to the corner of my eye. And I just did that a few times. I did have to... Um, pack a little bit more on the lid than I normally would have, but it wasn't that much of a problem. Next, I'm going to take the orange, and I'm going to put that on the outside corners of my eye, and I will blend this into the crease area to give it a darkened look. Okay, now that I have this orange in my outer corners, um, I am going to take my white eyeliner and put this on my water lines. Now, just before I move on, what I did with the orange is I placed it in my outer corners, I blended it through my crease about halfway, and I took it up and around to about right here where it meets the yellow, and I blended that very well. You can't see it, it kind of looks like there's actually a gap on my camera, but there is actually um, a faded yellow where the yellow fades into the orange and the orange fades into the yellow. And that's what I did there. So I'm going to apply this white Wet n Wild Color Icon Soft Cold Pencil to my waterline. Okay, after you've lined your waterline, um, one thing you can do is with this pencil, it wasn't super, super like white when I put it on. You could still see the pink of the waterline. What you can do is just take a pencil brush and get a little bit of white on it and just set that over the pencil. Now what that will do is it will set the pencil and it will make sure it stays on longer, but not only that, it will make it have much more coverage depending on the shadow. And so I did that already. And as you can see, you can't see it too much, but there's a little bit, there's just a little white line. What that is going to do, actually, is it's going to widen your eyes and make them look much bigger. Next, I am going to... Oh, I've misplaced my stuff, I'm sorry. I'm going to take mascara, and I'm going to put it on... I'm not sure if I want to put it on my lower lashes. Um, for now, I'm just going to put it on the upper lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have my mascara on, I did actually decide to put mascara on my lower lashes because I thought that it actually it did accentuate the white and help make my eyes look a lot brighter. One more thing that you could do is you could take black and you could line your upper lid um, above your lashes. I'm not going to do that. Um, I might do it at the end and see if I like that, but I'm not currently going to do that. Next, I'm going to, for my lips, I'm going to use this Sally Hansen Natural Butter Lip Shine, and this is in Bloom. It's just a flesh tone shimmery pink. See, it's about the same shade as my lips. Now, I find that this is really sticky, and, like, you can't even rub your lips together with it on. So what I'm going to do is I have a chapstick, and I'm going to apply this chapstick, just very quickly, all over your lips, like this. If you need a little bit more. 
And this is very helpful to me, too, because I've had very dry lips lately. Okay. Now that I've got that, clean up a little. And then all you have to do is apply the lip gloss over the chapstick, and it will be a lot less sticky. All right, so this is my finished look. Um, I've been thinking I wanted to call it a midsummer fire look because it's very yellow and orange and hot, and it is midsummer. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will have pictures either at the end of this video or in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye!